just before we started recording, Mason says to me, have we done this? And maybe, I'm pretty sure I've done a video on like the worst James Bond gadgets. But what I've done here, Mason, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've hunted around on the internet for what I think is a pretty compelling, but maybe controversial list. Just say you've done your own research. On I've this. done my own research <laughs> on the best James Bond gadgets. This is why shortlist.com. And I'll tell you this much, Mason. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find a list of James Bond gadgets online that doesn't just go, number one, that car that he always has. Number it's two, not a gadget. Number two, that jetpack that Sean Connery had for 30 <laughs> seconds that time. Is that on this That's list? That's on the list, I yes. I knew it. But I wanted to find one that was strictly no cars. Yeah, okay, I don't. Sure. That's like saying that pair of shoes. That's, yeah. a, that's a nice gadget. You know the best household gadget? Mm. Your house <laughs> with all the stuff in it. <laughs> all right, cool, man. <laughs> The best gadget in the house is the Slap Chop. We all know this. <laughs> Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. Everybody does. So uh, we'll talk about a few more at the end that maybe should have been on here and we'd love to hear people's contributions. Right. But we're going to go 12 to 1. Okay. Here, okay. And we're going to start with number 12, the flamethrower bagpipes from The World Is Not Enough. Absolutely, It's yeah. as if the sound of bagpipes wasn't painful enough. This flame extruding instrument from The World Is Not Enough takes things up a notch. What I love about the best James Bond gadgets, and also the worst, oh, by the way, leave a like. Is, is it James? <laughs> that James Bond didn't even use that gadget. It's just in, it's just in MI6 well, headquarters. They've got other spies, but I'd like to... I'd Which spy is <laughs> using the flamethrower? Well, that's backwards. what I'm talking about. Like, what, what are they what, doing? What's the context of this, right? <laughs> is there one double O agent who's even worse than James Bond and he's just constantly exposing himself? <laughs> and so MI6 is just like, oh, I mean, put him in a kilt and give him some bagpipes, maybe then... <laughs> Maybe then so he, could, he could get out of it if yeah. need be. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. That's impractical, but it's number 12. Mm. Number 11, fake fingerprints from Diamonds Are Forever. So this is basically, it's like a like an adhesive device. <laughs> it's a gum. It's a gum, it's a sure. gum, Some sticky gummy fingers. It basically means you can conceal your identity. Nice. With, it's like a mask for your thumbs. Yeah. Cues like Bond. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, you're going to put these on. It's going to conceal your identity. Just don't say your surname. And then your first name, and then your surname, and when you're introducing yourself, because that's it's, it's going to blow your cover. Just don't do it. Don't do the thing you always do, Bond. Exactly. Give you all these gadgets, and then you ruin it. You're like, it's me. I'm James Bond. I'm a spy. <laughs> all this R and D goes in, and he's just like, fuck you. I'm a spy, everyone. Fight me. <laughs> uh, number ten, dentonite explosive toothpaste. That's right. From License to Kill. Now, is this the one that you have to blend with a cigarette? Um, God, I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah. Because I think there is one like that, and it is from a Dalton okay. movie. Well, then it must be Licensed to Kill, because that's not in The Living Daylights. Okay, fair the enough. best of my knowledge. Okay. Yeah. What a combo, though. I think just, so. And that is, that's a combo you you just couldn't get away with. In the 80s, absolutely. You've, you've packed your, your bathroom travel kit. You've got some toothpaste in there. You've got a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> That's how it was. I just found out that, yes, that is this one. It is a combination of cigarettes and toothpaste. It's perfect. Why not, why not, why not toothpaste and orange juice? <laughs> the, the bad guy dies and he's got a weird taste in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like this. It's, and it's so pulpy. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. This is also from License to Kill. What is this? Uh, no, we've, we've, found the, we've found the bias <laughs> in, inherent in the article already. What I think we've found here is somebody who's gone, yeah, I've seen the Dolphin movies. Not everybody knows this, but actually they're very true to the character of James Bond, the original character as intended by the author. Uh, it's a laser Polaroid camera. So it's basically a Polaroid camera that shoots a laser that James Bond doesn't use. That's, yeah, it's very correct. So there you go. It's interesting, isn't it? Some of the movies where Q shows up and he's like, now listen, Bond, here's all these cool gadgets. And you're like, can't wait for him to use the Stinger missiles in his, mm. his BMW. And then all of a sudden he doesn't use them the entire movie. And yeah. you're like, huh, cool, man. I agree. Yeah. I think I prefer that to like a scenario where it's so niche. And, yeah. it, and how is it possible that Q could have predicted? But I think also, as you've mentioned, is because Q's just like, what's the worst thing he could do? <laughs> oh, what is the what is the <laughs> furthest off map this dude can go? Just <laughs> how rogue can this guy go? Yeah, he'll probably, you know, try and swing across a museum of rare antiquities and kick bloody through all the glass cases. Oh, okay, I guess I'll give him a grappling hook in his belt or whatever. Exactly. What I like about this particular gadget is mm. he can murder someone with a laser Yep. and then he's got some photographic evidence for his, <laughs> for his pool room, you know? That's true. Put it in his man cave. <laughs> Put it up on the wall. With all the others. That he's done lots of murders. <laughs> this one at number eight. Uh, this, is, this is a creep's dream. It's from mm -hmm. The World Is Not Enough. 
X-ray sunglasses. Oh, yeah. You remember this one? I do. So it's really so he can look around and into handbags and jacket pockets and things like that and just see, just yeah, scope yeah. what people are packing, if you know what I mean, Mason. Mm, yeah, uh-huh. But it's, uh, it's, it's for pervert. I yeah, it's for pervert, exactly. Yeah. I bet this is a James Bond This is requested. a special request. Yeah, he put it in. He put a form in to Q and he's like, purpose for requisition. And he's like, oh. Pervin? Nah, I'll scratch nah, that nah, out. Nah. <laughs> looking through handbags and stuff and looking at government secrets and that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he writes perfect. Yeah, you right, you, you got to help himself. <laughs> he has to do it. Uh, this one I like. That's from your eyes only. Uh, and again, we don't see it in action, but it's a spiked umbrella. It's like a Venus flytrap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Closes yeah. over your head. Like, also, the other thing about that one is horrendous. Yeah. Just horrendous. Mm. A horrendous way to go out. Also, are you are you swapping out somebody's existing umbrella or are you luring an enemy spy into maybe like an umbrella shop that you've built and uh, convincing them to yeah. buy an umbrella and they're like, it's actually quite nice out today. Just shoot them. <laughs> Just shoot them and bury them in the basement. Yeah. Isn't it the idea behind, unless it's like a weapon that you use for outright attack, mm-hmm. it's like covert stuff. Yeah, yeah. But this is an obvious attack. The police are going to show up and be like... This guy's umbrella collapsed in himself and it cut him all open and crushed him in that. What a terrible accident. Anyway, case closed. Case closed. Uh, this one I like. This is from The Spy Who Loved Me. It's the Seiko 0674LC smartwatch. You familiar with this one? It's got a, it's got a touch screen and a little printer communicator kind oh, of ticker tape love it. Yeah, situation yeah. on So if he's getting, some, uh, getting a message from i6, it's all... Out of paper. It needs new driver to be installed. <laughs> anyway, I just think that's a cool little like updated thing that a spy might have in in the digital watch era. Oh, definitely. You know, situation. Mm. Uh, this one. His... And plus, he can probably take the ticker tape out and strangle someone. Oh yeah, exactly. That's what he wants. I don't think that's one that's on here. Yeah, ticker tape is like, don't strangle this guy. It's like <laughs> too late. <laughs> I was going to mention like one of the the watches, the Garrot watch. Oh yes, but that that's not James Bond. That's yeah. that's a Robert Shaw character, isn't that's, it? That's uh, owned by some other Garrot. Yeah, <laughs> some absolute Garrot out there. <laughs> James Bond's too sophisticated for a garrot. I agree. Not really. No, I don't think so. Especially not the Connery version or the Craig version. Or, or any of them, really. Except probably Roger Moore. Roger Moore wouldn't garrot somebody. Yeah. I mean, maybe he would, but he'd be like, I'm going to garrot you. Mm. <laughs> a little, little piece and of I, advice I'm there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Roger Moore, the spy who loved me, the ski pole rocket launcher. Yeah. That's very yeah. Roger Moore, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, God, there's nothing better than a Bond out in the Alps. Yep. He's got a, he's got a ski pole. It's got a rocket launcher in it. He's got a Union Jack maybe parachute. Mm-hmm, you think mm-hmm. he's going to go off that mountain, he's going to die, but he's not because he's got the Unijack parachute. Exactly. So, they, I mean, the parachute isn't the gadget. It's the rocket no. launcher thing. Yeah, sure, yeah, the murdery one, yeah. It's all. It's a combination, James. Yeah, that's it's true. His Al- it's his Alpine accessory pack <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> and look, as mentioned, and maybe he wouldn't have needed said Union Jack parachute mm-hmm. if he had number four, the Bell Trexton jetpack from Thunderball. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's very silly. <laughs> I mean, the concept is silly. The story behind the jetpack or the the rocket belt, as people in the rocket belt community call it. Excuse me? They call it the rocket belt. That's wrong. I know, but they've done it for years. But the people that develop it's a story of just like intrigue and mystery and murder. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. Look it up, guys. I'll look it up. Yeah. Number three, speaking of rockets, Mm -hmm. this guy's rocket mad. This is from You Only Live Twice, The Rocket Cigarette. Hell yeah. So you probably could say, like, smoke and kills, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of these gadgets are built around him saying a thing afterwards. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. You absolute garrot as your garrot example. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe there's a, a bit on the form yeah. where, you, where you're ordering your deadly gadgets and you have to justify, <laughs> like, why you're going to need it and also what are you going to say after you use it because otherwise it's a waste, isn't it? Exactly. You know? So, yeah. It, I'm yeah. going to shoot you with this rocket contained in this cigarette. Excuse me? You dumb bitch. Yeah. Uh, number two. Wrist-mounted dart, Moonraker. Oh, yeah. He uses that to get out of a sticky situation. He certainly does. Just seeing this as well, it's quite clunky, just having that. Yeah, <laughs> it's suspicious, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a, it's like having a, a toaster on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what do you got a toaster on your wrist? No reason. It's just my regular watch. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Exactly. Look, I think it, yeah, it could be a little sleeker. Mm. But I like the idea of it. You know what I mean? Just a secret device up the wrist. It's very kind of like magician's trick kind of oh, yeah, definitely, situation. Yeah. You know and what also I mean? that scene is worth the price of admission alone for the 
funny faces Roger Moore makes when he's in like that high G accelerator seat or whatever it is. Oh, that is he's true. He's all like... <laughs> <laughs> Love him. Big fan. Uh, and at number one... Oh, here we go. This better be good list we've got from a website. It's a car. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Every car he's ever owned. <laughs> no, it's the Omega Seamaster Laser Watch from GoldenEye. Whoa. I mean, I think it's a controversial choice, but solid gadget, right? Mm, yeah. You know? Mm. Uses it to, to cut through the floor or whatever and to get out of the thing. Yeah, sure. Use it in the uh, in the GoldenEye game. Do you remember? Oh, you can, you can laser people with it. You can it. laser people with it. You, you can use it to get out of that same floor. Number one gadget should just be slaps then. Yeah. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> slaps no odd job. That's right. <laughs> Temple. Officially cheating. Uh, so, yeah, look, I think this is a pretty solid list. There's some things on here that maybe I would have enjoyed. Uh, for example, the inflatable snow jacket. Oh, the, yeah, the, sure. The avalanche proof yeah, yeah, jacket yeah. that he wears. Uh, the fake crocodile. Is that a gadget or is that more of an accessory? You know? Yeah, it's more of a more of a fashion statement ultimately. Though. Fair point. Uh, the rat trap that he keeps in his pocket. Sure. For when bad guys reach for his weapons if he's getting yeah, patted yeah, down. Yeah. The phone booth that just crushes a man. Sure. You the little radio where he's just like, I've got a little radio. Got to check out this little radio. And Silver's like, what? You didn't tell me you had a little radio. But actually I knew because mm, earlier. This is all set up or it's just something. the dark night, this movie. <laughs> That's what Silver says, yeah. And, uh, you know, one of my favourites is the one that's just Q's lunch, you know? <laughs> that's right. That's my, my lunch, lunch or whatever It's got says. a rocket in it, though. <laughs> it probably. But what's your favourite? That's a great question, though. What are people's favourites, you know? Maybe we'll do another video when people are like, I like this obscure one from one of the books. Not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I like the game of Baccarat that's in the Casino Royale. That's what I like. We're not interested and that's not interesting. If you think that's an interesting response, it's not. Just my personal opinion. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Put it in the comments anyway. Though. I'll give it a like. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and speaking of James Bond, we have done the Daniel Craig series for Caravan of Garbage. We've worked our way all the way through. We've worked tirelessly. We really to have. To bring you that content. Exactly. So it's a bit of fun. We've also done the Brosnan ones prior to that. And, you know, the gadgets, they certainly make an appearance yeah. in some of those movies, don't they? And everybody knows the best gadget is just strangling a man flat out. You know I was going to say teamwork, but all right. No, it's strangling. Strangling a man, all it's right. just strangling, cool. I think, right. yeah. Should we do a video one day on, like, the, the, the worst, most awful, unpleasant pickup lines that James Bond has ever, has ever oh, said? Oh, absolutely we should. Yeah. Good Lord. What a gross man. Anyways, uh, we also have a service called BigSandwich.co, and if you're interested in seeing Caravan of Garbage videos, they go up there early. We do movie commentaries. Mm -hmm. We do bonus podcasts. Our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows, goes up there a day early on Sunday as opposed to Monday. And we're out of here. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Have fun in the sun. Is that... We, we're doing that? We're doing we're that? We're doing that. All right. Have fun in the sun. you got to say it. Have, have fun in the sun. Not like this. Have fun in the sun. Have fun in the sun? Great. What a question, though. Have fun in the sun. Have fun in the sun. There we go. Nice. Also, grab that jammy, guys. We'll see you next week. You put your own spin on it. Yeah, I liked it. 